Hello there. Today we're going to be making guacamole. It's uh, another entry into our e-cooking book, Volume 3, which is appetizers. It's a million recipes for guacamole. I happen to like mine. Uh, we add a couple of things that some places don't add, but I think add texture and flavor. So the first thing you want to do, you want to make sure that you get a ripe avocado. And the way you tell is if you squeeze it slightly and it gives just a little bit, it's ripe. If it's hard as a golf ball, no. And if you can indent your fingers all the way together, that's not a good one. So this one gives just enough, and we're going to show you how to take out the pit and carve it. So the first thing you do, is we're going to cut it in half. We're just going to go around the circle, just like that. All right. And we're going to twist it apart. Comes out great. So to get the pit, take your knife, your chef's knife. You do not put your hand on it, but you just come down hard on the pit in the middle. And once you've done that, it's a simple twist, and it's out. That's all there is to it. So we want to put this avocado in diced. There's two ways we can do it. Here's one that I've already done. The first way, you take a paring knife, and you just cut down the center, three or four, and then you cut it the other way in little small slits and you just take a spoon and it'll come right out in a nice dice. Okay. Now the second way, even a little bit easier, so I have a little tool. It's an avocado cutter. You do the same thing. I'm going to cut some slits across And then the tool goes in at the very top up here and just pulls through and this is a little bit better for slicing but for what we're doing paring knife will probably work just as well. So it's a few simple ingredients. The avocado. This is a chopped tomato. This is actually one Roma tomato. This is one small chopped onion. You can use any kind of onion, shallot or red onion. Put that in. This is one of the ingredients that a lot of people leave out, but I think is important. It's a one very finely diced jalapeno, very small. Put that in. That's going to give it the heat. Another way to get heat, if you want, just use uh, crushed red pepper flakes. We're going to put lime juice in, which is going to smooth out the jalapeno a little bit, so I'm not that worried. And one more ingredient we're going to put in is some minced garlic. I don't like to put in whole pieces of garlic because when you're eating the guacamole, you get whole pieces of garlic. The minced garlic, this taste will soften slightly when we put the lime juice in. So you can put in a, about a teaspoon and a half with just a fork and mash everything together. What you're going to see when we're finished, it's very colorful. And then what you see in restaurants a lot is kind of lowest common denominator. They don't want to make it too spicy. so. That's what I do. I'm going to put in some salt and pepper. And two more ingredients. This is one lime, the juice of one lime. The lime is going to cut some of the jalapeno and the garlic. So we're just going to juice this in. And that's really going to do a number on softening the, the jalapeno and the, the garlic. One last thing we're going to add in, some people are not fans of, but I am, it's cilantro. So we're going to just quick chop cilantro. It's okay to put the stems in too. And we're just going to put that in. Alright, and what we're going to do is put everything together and we're going to get ready to serve our appetizer. Alright, to serve to a group, we're on a plate. We've got some tortilla chips. I'm just going to fill the middle. And you can see that it's a nice color. We've got the red and the green and the, the yellow, and it just looks great. So, this is our appetizer guacamole, free to download on our e cookbooks. We've got three volumes on our website, cookingsecretsformen.com. 
please come visit, download for free. Appetizer should be out any day now. I so hope you enjoyed this. Appreciate all our supporters. Thanks for watching. See you next time.